four. So it says there's a lot going on here in terms of words. So we need to be careful to make sure we read this and highlight key information to get an idea of the like what's going on in our heads so we can make sense of it. Um, here is a formula. It's used to work out the speed. Now that says the speed is given by the letter V. So you can think of this part here as telling you how to work out the speed okay, of a car making an emergency stop. So not many of you will probably be having drive lessons at this point unless you're taking a reset. So when you do your driving test, they always make you practice an emergency stop, slamming on the brakes. Okay, so this formula here is helping us work out the speed. Now there's another letter in the formula, D. So interesting is what, what's D telling me? What's D standing for? D is um, feet. So D, D feet is the length of the mark of the car car's tires when you make the emergency stop. Okay, all right, so you kind of like a skid mark. If you look at the picture here, if you make an emergency stop, you're going to make a, a skid mark. Right. So, talking about the length of the skid mark in feet. Um, a car makes an emergency stop. So here's, we're going to be doing it now. Here's the situation. The cars make an emergency stop. The car tires make a mark. It's 90 feet long. A 90 feet long skid mark. Something like this. Okay, obviously not this way around. You'd be, uh, the car would be at the other end, wouldn't it? It'd be over here. So we've got D is equal to 90. That's how long our skid mark was. Um, a tire mark. I think they've chosen those words very carefully, which I've fallen into that trap, haven't I? Um, so then we're going to use the formula up here to work out what was the actual speed, because it says work out the speed of the car. Give your answer to the nearest whole number, which means we're probably going to have to use our calculator and we're going to get a decimal that we have to round up. So the formula, let's write the formula out. The speed, V, is given by the square root of, square root of, square root of 21 lots of D. So 21 times whatever D was. And D was 90. D was 90. All right, so that could be part of your working. And you might want to show that in your working. Um, you need to type it into a calculator. So you press the square root button first on a scientific one, and then it would let you write uh, 21 times 90 underneath the square root sign. Press equals, and the decimal that you should be getting is 43.47. And there's some more digits there. I'd write those down as well. 41, write a couple down, 41. And it's asking me to round this up to the nearest whole number. So obviously we don't want any decimals, so we're going to cut it off here my rounding line so it's 43 the four the next digit is a four so that won't affect it it's only five or above that rounds up so we can write part a is 43 okay 43 and speed is in uh, miles per hour so i might just put on there miles per hour for the correct units don't want to drop any marks part b now this one is going to probably be a bit more tricky the car uh, the car made an emergency stop. The car's speed was 50. So they're giving us the speed this time. They're giving us the 50. So I'll, I'll put that in. 50 is the speed. That's that part there. And that equals the square root of, formula says, 21 times D. 21 times D. Okay, and it says you've got to work out. Um, the length of the tire mark on the road. Okay, so how do we work this out? How do we get to the value of D? Well, if we were doing it properly and we were trying to use equation rules, then we need to we need to undo the square rooting and to get rid of that, and then we need to get rid of this times 21, and then we'll be left with the value of D. That's always what you're trying to do with an equation, is do everything in reverse to get back to the answer of the letter that you're trying to work out, D. So what is the opposite of a square root? Now this might be a bit confusing. What's the opposite of square rooting? Well, the actual, to get rid of a square root sign, if you were to move the square root sign over, it would do the opposite, which is squaring. So you'd end up with 50 squared on this side, would be equal to, that square root would be cancelled out, 21 times the diameter. So we move the square root sign over, 
it does the opposite when you do that, so it's squaring. 50 squared on your calculator is going to be, I'm running out of space here, right, I'm going to have to move over here. 50 squared is 2,500, and that equals 21 times something. So all we need to do now is figure out what is, instead of timesing on this side, we'll move the 21 over, it can divide on this side, so what's 2,500 divided by 21, and that will give me the value of D. All right, so if you type that into your calculator, then you will get the answer, okay? And that will be, and you'd, you'd round that up to the nearest whole number. Let me just do that on my calculator. 2,500 divided by 21. My calculator is saying 119.04. So the answer I got for D was 119.04. To the nearest whole number, it's just going to be 119 for that one. Okay, so the length of the time up was 119 feet long.